Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to a very exciting episode of CSK News. Thank you all for the great feedback throughout this week. This will probably be the last episode of CSK News for the next couple of days. I will be live streaming though this Friday and Saturday doing viewer games, giveaways, a lot of great stuff. So hope you guys can stop by for that. Also, huge thanks to my sponsor, Flashy Raffles. If you guys want a great website for free giveaways as well as a great way to earn free skins, I'll link it down below for all of you. They're our sponsor for this video and a few others in the future. But anyway, in breaking news, I hope you guys all enjoy our first story all around the Immortals organization. Now, of course, over the past few months, a lot of uh, rumors around them, what they're going to do in the future, of course some controversy around what they've done in the past so far. Will the SK Gaming roster be bought up by Noah Winston, the Immortals founder and owner? We do not know the future. We do know their new general manager though will be Lurpus himself. If you guys don't know who Lurpus is, he frequents Twitter quite often. I'll link his Twitter down below as well as on screen for all of you. A very funny tweeter, also uh, tweets out a lot about CSGO analyst kind of stuff, so it's a great, uh, a great Twitter to follow if you guys want more information about some random CSGO facts. On top of that, a former kind Strike Pro. He has now been named the general manager of the Immortals organization in great astonishing news. He'll be doing business operations, event management, also working closely with the team. I cannot wait to see what kind of stuff he creates with these guys. And on top of that, it's just great to see a guy with a set job, a well set job as a banking analyst at JP Morgan. That's a huge investment company around the world. This guy was set for life and he's now taking a step away from the real world and actually going full time into esports. That's incredible news, guys. I cannot wait to see the future of Immortals. And they've also reconfirmed for all of you guys who are curious, we knew this was probably going to be happening. They've reconfirmed on their Reddit AMA. They will be coming back into Counter-Strike or CSGO. We just don't know the timeline as to when, although hint, hint, wink, wink, we all know it's probably going to be around July when the SK Gaming roster, uh, their contracts do expire. So that was in great news, guys. Immortals' new GM is Lurpus himself. Congrats to the guy. He definitely deserves it. And now I'm going to share some news stories out there with some specific fans out there. For any of you guys who are UK fans or Renegades fans, you're going to enjoy these next two stories. The first of all, I want to touch on UK CSGO. We talked about this a lot my live streams in the past. Where has UK CSGO been? But it's actually a really funny story, guys. Remember a couple weeks ago, we had Gambit Gaming when Seize first joined their roster. He's still currently a three-month trial member, but one of his first matches with them was in ESCA Mountain Dew League. It was against a team known as Stiffmeister. Now, Stiffmeister is an all-UK roster. They're actually currently four and four in Mountain Dew League. Nothing spectacular, although if you look at all European Mountain Dew League standings, they're still almost in the top 10, and a lot of that competition is very, very close. A lot of teams sitting at four and three, four and two. They're not Nothing spectacular, but they did upset Gambit Gaming and in a game that many people thought Gambit Gaming did throw. We had the C's low light video. He made a lot of mistakes there. But Stiffmeister, maybe because of that game, they've actually been officially signed, guys, by Wind and Rain Gaming, otherwise known as War. So congrats to them, all you UK CS fans out there. Maybe they'll rise throughout ESCA Mountain Dew League, hopefully make playoffs, guys. That was just in funny news. A team that upset Gambit Gaming has now been signed by an organization. Maybe that's all it took, but they've had some decent success in ESCA Mountain Dew League. Are they a great team? And a amazing team. No, not by a long stretch, but it's really cool news to see a team like that getting signed out of nowhere and offered a chance at maybe making a living off of CSGO in the future. On top of that as well, though, I know a lot of you guys are Renegades fans. This is not new news by any stretch. I do want to talk about Chem though, and of course, when he first joined this Renegades roster, people were uh, a bit anticlimactic about it. They lost Nafly, who went to Liquid, and that's a great that's a great loss for the team. Many people did not expect Chem to step up the way he has this past weekend at Star Series. He did actually clarify as well how long, because in his original tweet, he didn't clarify how long he'll be with the team. It does seem, though, I'll play the video for you guys shortly, he will be the team for the next six months, even after Star Series. That's amazing to see, and this team certainly needs it. They are actually in the quarterfinals as of today in the Star Series tournament. I cannot wait to watch these guys, and maybe they'll upset FaZe Clan, maybe they won't. Either way, though, a great performance out of them, and Jkem, Jkeem, however you want to pronounce it, he'll be there for the next six months, and that is very exciting to hear. Uh, what's the current setup? Are you, like, standing in for an extended period? Is it, like, a trial period, so to speak I don't think it's a trial period uh, I have a six month contract with them so I'll play the next tournaments for them for six months. And very last in today's episode, the short episode of CSK News, I do apologize if I miss anything. In the next day or so, guys, I will be saving all the next news stories for Saturday's episode or maybe Sunday. Again, I'll be out of town this weekend for a small amount of time, so we'll see what the next episode does hold. We had a Navi troll, guys. I actually believe this one for a short amount of time, but don't worry, I'm not going to cover it as an actual thing. A Navi Academy troll did come out as some people posted this with Fish. If you guys know who Fish is, he's also another leaker out there in the EU scene, uh, in the scene in general, so he's a great guy. 
guy, and I knew once he was on the roster as well. I just, I like the guy a lot. I wouldn't mind seeing him on an academy team, but yes, it was actually a troll. There is no Navi Academy, and I know the first thing that came to my mind when I saw the original post, I was like, why would you have an academy team if you can barely field a, a regular roster? Although I will admit, guys, Navi did make the quarterfinals in impressive fashion. We'll see how they do today. I would predict a loss, but I might be wrong on that. On top of that, though, very lastly for today's episode of CSGO News, I love sharing when younger pro players out there do get signed in some sort of way. That's actually Sam on screen for all of you, a 15-year-old rank S player, and yes, that's pretty young in the scene, although there's a lot of 15 and 16-year-olds now upcoming and somehow being rank S players or, or face it members. This is one of the few that's actually been signed to a stream team, and he has chosen to sign with Complexity Gaming Stream Team. So congrats to him. He is now pursuing a semi-professional career at the age of 15 years old in rank S. He's also played with many pro players out there like Tark, like Stewie, like those kind of guys, and he's now been signed and will be being paid to play CSGO. And that's just awesome to see a 15-year-old, and I still can't fathom that. Like, I'm almost 32. This guy's 15. He's ha less than half my age. As always, hope you guys all enjoyed. Thank you all for the great comments and the great likes throughout the week. Seriously, cannot thank you enough. I've had a great week of making CSGO news. Cannot wait to be back Saturday or Sunday. Hope you all enjoy. I will see you guys all tonight, or wait, tomorrow night, Friday night, and Saturday night for some great live streams, great giveaways, and uh, I'll see you all then. My name is Jake. Remember, I like you. Goodbye!